जी नमस्कार आई एम डॉक्टर आकाशी गुंडली सो बेसिकली अबाउट मी आई एम फ्रॉम हुबली कर्नाटका आई डिड माय एम बी बी एस एट कर्नाटका इंस्टिट्यूट ऑफ मेडिकल सायन्सेस हुबली सो आफ्टरवर्ड्स आय डिड माय डिप्लोमा ऑर्थोपेडिक्स इन जे जे एम एम सी दावणगेरे सो आफ्टर कंप्लीटिंग दॅट देन आय डिड माय सेकंड डी एन बी ॲट सेंट माथास हॉस्पिटल बँगलोर सो बेसिकली टू टेल आफ्टर आय फिनिश माय डी एन बी Uh, I was confused. What to do next? Should I do SR ship or should I opt for a fellowship? And if it's a fellowship, which one to go? Orthoplasty, scopy, spine, or any trauma fellowship? And which fellowship to do? FNB or ASSI? Like these are the like issues I had, like doubts I had. So according to my senior, like he was one who guided me, Doctor Kalyan. So he told me to just prepare for FNB. So I left all these things and almost eight to ten months I prepared purely for FNB. And when I cracked the seat. actually I became more confused before the seat because after getting fnd fnb degree which is really hard to get then i realized which one to choose spine plasty scopy so my interest was basically between plasty and spine and after doing some research like i found that like plasty is relatively like more money minting and less of an headache compared to spine so then i chose orthoplasty fnb over the orthoplasty spine so my second doubt came which part of the country i should take my seat so i had options in delhi bangalore pune uh, patna and all these places so i started digging in and doing some research where to do which seat to get like when to join all these things so when i came to patna i met dr ashish singh so the good thing i felt like the warm welcome he personally took me to the hospital showed me the hospital showed us the robot so after all this then i went home then i started thinking what is the advantage of going to each place so when i had a option in delhi bangalore and all my life would have been more easier that's what i thought bigger places i'm used to it good lifestyle and all so uh, the reason i chose patna like let me explain in a brief video so uh, the first thing was i wanted to do arthroplasty and why not do a center where there is robotic fellowship so i chose patna because here the robotic joint replacement surgeries are a norm it's not an exception and here they do both both total hip replacement as well as total knee replacement so this was my first attraction the robot and everyday basis like i am lucky to see operate learn and discuss about robot work over it so first uh, the thing that i liked about is this and the second thing as young surgeons the main problem for us will be having lot of uh, we will be having less hands on so i asked around many centers so hands on was not that much some centers were good and other centers were less but when i came here like i was assured that i'll be getting a robotic i can be i i'll be able to do robotic surgery within 6 months or at least after i assess 100 cases that was promised to me by dr ashish sir and dr purushottam sir and they kept their promise after i cross my 100th case i was given the knife and ha- though it was like first time but robot made a life so easy that i could take a tkr total knee replacement easily so after doing one total knee replacement like now every day on every day basis i'll be operating one or at least one case in two days so this is the advantage ashish sir basically wants us to learn and improve so i had done total hip replacements total knee replacements in our robot which are primary primary complex also so next i'm hoping that before leaving this institute i'll be able to do in revision surgeries so these are the advantages as a student personally i can tell you like we get here and it's not that since we've done fnb orthoplasty we are limited to only orthoplasty and are not allowed for other surgeries no so where i'm working is anup institute of ortho orthopla anup institute of orthopedics and rehabilitation super specialty unit so just across the road we have mother institute that is anup institute of orthoplasty which is almost a 40 year plus old orthopedic center and they, at least per day they'll be doing around 10 to 15 cases so if you have a case and or after doing our cases we are allowed to go there we are allowed to operate there as well so i have operated trauma i personally operated both bone forearm fractures uh, then the tibia nailing femur nailing shards cart like uh, bicolumnar plating unicorticular plating all these things so i'm exposed to exposed to trauma as well and i assist lot of cases with dr purushottam sir and dr pankaj sir who are very good at what they do and not just this and i'll be on assisting and learning from the spine surgeries from dr sushil sir so it's a basically encompassing orthoplasty scopy trauma spine so that is the advantages 
it's not just we're doing FNB or even learning our skills in other uh, sub specialities also. So this is one thing I liked about the institute. And it's not about just calm, calm, calm. Even academics are very good. Ashi sir is personally interested in academics. Almost on every day, after like six o'clock or something, we sit, we discuss about cases we did, and Ashi sir takes our classes. Sometimes on hip, sometimes on implants, sometimes on knee replacements, etc. Apart from this, this institute is known for its academic excellence. I meant to say international publications in the international journals, and they are writing their own small manuscript of uh, Exeter knee also, uh, sorry Exeter hip. So these things, uh, research oriented, what personally I mean to three research. One research I mean only totally replacement with robotics. The second one is the same thing, uh, which is slightly different from the first one. And the third thing I am doing it on total hip replacement. And one paper already I sent for publication, the Journal of Bone and Joints, UK. And coming to like other publications, it's not that we publish in the local publication, no. All the publications we are having in journals like SICOT, Journal of Bone and Joint, American Association of Orthoplasty, so standard top three, top four uh, articles in the world, index journals, all those things we like we are ex exposed to and we are even writing our papers into. So research part is taken care and even uh, trauma, all these things. And apart from all these things, coming to my personal life, since I am basically like I used to stay in Bangalore, so my decision was coming from Bangalore to Bihar and I have a lot of troubles. I had seen some two to three movies like Bihar, Aisa, Rega, O. So, all it's a myth. So, huh, you will feel some adjustment issues because culture is different, language is different. Those things I felt. But because people are warm here, my staff, hospital, sir, all these things I felt comfortable. And coming to second thing is Khana. Here, Bihar, ka, both veg and non-veg are very good. So, I didn't have much difficulty in adjusting to Bihar food as well. And coming to where I stay, hospital has personally produced uh, two BHK house in a very good locality which is nearby to the hospital. So everything is taken care, academics, hands-on, discussions, all these things. And to mention something about uh, the uh, teachers and staff here, first I would like to start with Dr. Aran Singh. So basically Aran Singh has like 40 years of, 40 plus years of experience in orthopedics. So we are lucky to even just see him operate. So, I will be discussing with him, we will be assisting him, he will be teaching us. He, he always tells us, it takes 10 years to know how to do a surgery and 10 years to know when not to do a surgery. So, these things like, I am happy to see here. And next, his son, that, that is my mentor, Dr. Ashish Singh. Ashish sir is basically trained from UK, he is a citizen of UK. So, what all protocols they follow to UK, be it in hip or knee, directly they are followed here including paperwork, including surgical uh, steps and all. So, one advantage is we are learning the international standards here. Like, all these things are like, what they written in book, those things are followed here. So, Ashish sir is interested in teaching, he is interested in uh, showing us what to do, when to do, all these surgeries, publications, everything. And coming to Purushottam sir, Purushottam is also my mentor. Like, I will be operating with him for plasty, scopy, trauma, all these things. And going... Uh, just the like in the Anup Institute, that is our mother institute. There we have Sushil sir, we operate with him for spine trauma cases, especially upper limbs and Pankaj sir, like we operate scopy and trauma and Ashok sir, who is having 30-35 plus years experience, primarily like I have assisted him and done cases with him for like basically like trauma, all these things. So, what I meant to say is the faculty are really experienced and they know what they do and Above that, it's not just purely these people are even interested in publications, journals and international exposures. So, after nearly spending 10 to 12 months, uh, looking back, to, back at last year when I was in confusion, like should I come to Patna or not, I am happy that I chose this institute and I am happy that I came here, I learnt a lot many things. In past 10 months, my trajectory is like going up, be it personal surgical confidence or even academic knowledge and even my CV. All this is thanks to Anup Institute of Orthopedics. So, thank you.